Top story right now, progress on trade. China says negotiations with the United States remain on track and that tariffs will be reduced if a phase one deal is reached. U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross sat down with Yahoo Finance's Sibyl Marcellus and spoke about what needs to happen to reach a successful deal. The most important thing is that we get a proper deal. We're trying to roll back decades of inappropriate trading relationship with China. That's a hard task, and it's more important to get it right than it is to get it on December 15th or any other particular date. And there are three buckets to it. First, more current trade, reducing our deficit. If that were our only objective, we could have had that two and a half years ago. Second bucket is structural reform, respect for intellectual property, no longer forcing technology transfers, no longer subsidizing state-owned enterprises, the whole panoply of activities about which we've been complaining. That's a little harder because that takes legislation in China. The third and most difficult, enforcement. The record of living up to things is not superb, so we really need a good enforcement mechanism, and that's the hardest thing of all to get. So we need to fill all three buckets eventually to make a proper deal. So let's introduce this hour's panel to discuss what Ross just said. Yahoo Finance's editor-in-chief, Andy Serwer, as well as Miles Udlin, joining us right now. Andy, let me start with you. You've interviewed Wilbur Ross before. He's just laid out an agenda that, regardless of phase one, yes or no, will take more than a few days, weeks, months, even years to accomplish. It's an ambitious agenda. I was sort of rolling my eyes as he was talking, for instance, just about one particular point about China ending the practice of SOEs or state-owned enterprises. Not going to happen. I mean, that's just a fundamental part of their business system, of their political system, of their economic system, of their society. I mean, you're telling the, the, the nation of China not to have businesses where the government has a stake in it. That's just how they do things. And I don't even think we have the right to tell them not to do that. Who are we to tell them not to do that? I mean, I know it's extremely difficult for us to compete against them, but that's the nature of the game. Well, there are things that we probably have a better leg to stand on when it comes to IP theft and things yes. of that nature. But you continue to have this sort of dual track, right? You have the president on one hand, mm -hmm. tweeting and speaking, and then you have the people who are actually doing the work. Yep. Um, you know, and Wilbur Ross, I guess, is involved more on that side of the equation. In theory, yes. To some extent, yeah. right? But we still don't well, see a deal. I think the difficulty um, from where we sit following the markets every day, trying to make sense of the trade war, is that really we just look at the Dow, and if it's up, then the trade war is going well, and if it's down, it's going poorly. But I think what you know, the president said earlier this week, where he's like, well, maybe it'll last through the election. I don't really know. It could last forever. Um, you know, to Andy's point, I think the issue is Wilbur Ross or lay, is laying out, he, it is going to go forever, right? There, there's not going to be some sort of negotiation, whether Trump wins re-election or there's new administration, the trade agreement with China, our trade status with them has changed um, kind of irreparably, right? So I don't really know where we go in terms of thinking about what Wilbur is talking about. The market just wants to know, phase one, going to delay? I don't know. We right. might get a phase one, but really, then but what does that mean? Have, what does that mean? Yeah. They'll buy the 50 billion that still has or been soybeans. purchased of agricultures and corn and other stuff. But let's talk about enforcement. What does that look like? Yeah. That's really hard, and I agree with him. I mean, that's extremely difficult. And I think that we can make inroads in enforcement in some of actually some of the more difficult things, which is to say IP theft. And I think that the point that as China becomes a mature economy, they're going to want IP protection as well is a really valid point. And I think there really is a way forward there. Um, you know, with so that I think when you talk about enforcement, Adam, you can only talk about enforcement in, that are in terms of things that are practical. Like we need to enforce that they don't have SOEs. So let's forget about that one. But in terms of IP protection, I mean. Let's try to lay it out to the Chinese so they are want to buy into that well, as well. The SOEs create the IP. Thing, right. right? Well, yeah. so, so the Chinese government's going to enforce actions against itself? Well, but IP theft is different. How is that specifically connected to an SOE? It's, I, don't, I don't get that when, point. When you partner with them, you have to lend over but, your... But they so, can so simply they, say that they're not going to do that. Right, but they, I guess the thing is... They could it, say it's, that. It's, a, it's a, how they define it. I mean, like what they oh, would right. see as how you do business in China, yeah. we're defining, I think, in many cases as like theft of IP. All, you right. Know. I, I think that some of those things could be parsed. I, yeah. I think the bigger thing of saying you can't subsidize business is more difficult than saying you can't steal Ford's sure. F-150 
pickup truck design. I mean, right? right? Well, it's they already have agree. It. Yeah. Right. Well, the next one, the Tesla pickup. Yeah, no, the Cybertruck, sure. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.